Hey everyone. So this mommy moment today is going to be a mom hack. I am going to be taking uh, some of my daughter's, my baby's uh, jammies right there. And I'm going to be making them into slip resistant jammies. So these jammies here right now are uh, the kind that don't have any kind of grippies on the bottom. Um, and sometimes it can be hard to find those with the grippies on the bottom um, for sizes under 12 months, and I know they do exist out there, but, um, you know, I got a bunch of really, really cheap jammies on sale the other day, um, and they didn't have the, the slip resistant on them. But I can make them slip resistant for, I can do all of her jammies for less than a buck. So I'm going to show you how to do that today, how I'm going to do that. So all you need to do is have jammies and you're going to want something to stuff into the bottom of the jammies like into the um, the foot part and for that I'm going to be using uh, a shoe just one of her shoes because um, it fits perfectly in there and then the last thing you're going to need is you'll probably see where I'm going with this puffy paint Alright, so I've got my jammies all ready to go here. I got shoes stuffed in the bottom. And all I'm going to do now is take my puffy paint and I'm just going to make little dots all over the bottom. And you could do whatever um, pattern you wanted. You could do squiggly lines or happy faces or whatever, but I'm just going to keep it simple. Gotta shake up that paint. And. And when these dry, so I've done this before, they'll just be pliable dots, just like, just like you see on the bottoms of the ones that you buy like this. They're just kind of like, they just have like a, a little bit of grip to them. Just enough to keep them from sliding around if you have hardwood floors like I do. Sometimes I kind of just, I don't really like when it has that really, really hard peak at the top. I'll just kind of push it around. Anyways, it doesn't have to be perfect. So I'm just going to speed up a little bit here. bottom of my new Phoebe pajamas um, and the bottle that I have says to let dry for four hours but I found that it takes longer than that so I am going to let these dry overnight I'm gonna let them dry for like 12 hours before I mess with them um, and maybe that's just because they're kind of um, thicker dots I don't know but um, I found that letting them dry a good 12 hours was best before you put your um, put your child in them and let them walk around. Um, and then you also want to wait 72 hours before you wash it. So let it really, really set up for a good few days before you actually throw it in the wash. But you should be good after um, after letting them dry overnight to let uh, the baby walk in them. So, um, But that's how you do it. That's how you take non-skid-resistant um, jammies and DIY hack them into skid-resistant jammies. this video useful. If you did guys, please like and subscribe to our channel and um, I'll post more mommy moments like this. Talk to you later guys. Bye.